What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. Um, first off, when I decided to do this reading, a song come, came into my head. It is from the musical Chicago. It's um, the Cell Block Tango. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, um, but the lyrics go, um, he had it coming, he had it coming, he had it coming all along. If you'd have seen it, if you'd have been there, I bet you you would have done the same. Or something like that. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, let's proceed. Um, gosh, I have like different decks in this one deck. Um, yeah. Let's actually use this deck. Alright, Ancestors of the Highest White Light. What is the scoop? Archangel Gabrielle. Give me the words to say. Anxious, but I feel relieved. That's the vibe I'm getting. Okay, let's keep going. Um, come on, spirit, give me a card. There we go. All right. Ace of Wands in the upright position, and the Page of Swords reversed. A liar has an idea, is what I just heard. What else, Spirit? Four Pentacles. Um, keep your cards close to your chest is what I just heard. Four of Pentacles in the upright position. I still have that song in my head. <laughs> he had it coming. He had it coming. What else? King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is somebody who is very generous and grounded. That's you, even though you might not feel that way right now. That's who you are. What else, Spirit? And I think you know that that's who you are, <clears throat> or that's who you used to be. That's who you are. Let's say that. What else, Spirit? secret. Nine of Pentacles. Um, so yeah, the Nine of Pentacles is right in alignment with the uh, King of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a woman here who is um, enjoying the fruits of her labor. It's also um, my single girl card or single girl, single guy, you know, take what resonates. Um, but it's somebody who is very focused on their work, very focused on their purpose. Um, You're glowing up without spirit. Ace of Pentacles in a reverse position. Somebody wants to come in and um, take that from you. They want your light. 
Yeah. Because Spirit is showing me the fire on the um, Ace of Wands. I hope that you guys can see this card. That That's what they're trying to get. Like the hands around it. They're, they're trying to get that. Because they also said to me that with the Ace of Wands and the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, that, that the Ace of Wands applies to you as well. Because somebody who's um, in alignment with their path is receiving messages from the divine constantly, like uh, sparks of inspiration, okay? So, um, yeah, all right. What else, Spirit? You have some incoming abundance and somebody is after it. What's, what's going to happen, Spirit? The Empress in the upright position. Could, it could be a parent. It could be a mother. A narcissistic mother. But I also see, just because it landed on the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position, but it could also be... Um, or I also think that the Empress... Um, is um, that you are the empress. Um, but this, take what resonates, it could also be a narcissistic mother who's trying to come in and get you off focus, off of your path, and, um, you know, because some for some reason that inspires this person. It, obviously, it could also be... Um, well, we'll keep pulling cards. It, like, gives them fire. But when I say that you... Okay, yeah, we've got the Page of Cups. Um, again, Pisces energy. Um, hmm. Okay, I'll clarify that in a second. But, again, like, the Empress is, um, like, a, a mother figure to, you know, people. It could be a mother, but it could also be somebody who embodies, like, that kind of a... Um, is that kind of a mother archetype. Like, the King of Pentacles is somebody who's very abundant and who shares their wealth. The Empress is somebody who is very responsible, very nurturing, very caring, and embodies all of the queens and shares that, okay? So um, that's why I also feel like you, that is really the embodiment of who you are. But like I said, it landed on the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position over here when it, when it flew out. Um, so I, it could also be a mother, so watch out for that because we've got the, the Page of Cups. Um, upright. I'd like to clarify the Page of Cups. So who got the two swords in reverse position? I'd like to clarify the Page of Cups. Please. Um, okay, Six of Pentacles. So, let's keep going. So the Six of Pentacles is a card, again, it's right in alignment with the King of Pentacles. It's somebody who is very balanced. You see the scales um, there. I hope that you guys can see the card. But there's um, scales. And, um, oh, I get it. Oh, <laughs> with the Two of Swords in the reverse position that landed over by the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position. Somebody's trying to get in between you and your... Um, I just heard the word infiltrate. That's not the word I'm looking for, but somebody's trying to do that. Um, they're trying to get in between you and your... You're in the middle of integrating your Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine currently. Because it's Pisces season, um, you know, the healer, we heal ourselves and then we divine, or we um, integrate the divine masculine and the feminine. It's, it's the perfect time to do that. So that's what they're trying to do. Sometimes um, we might have karmics and they might, it's like, Spirit says to me, the Antichrist consciousness flow, flows through those with the weak aura, okay? So... At this time, be very careful of who you're spending your time with um, because if, like, if somebody's not self-aware and if somebody is not on a path, so to speak, like, um, if somebody's just not on the same path as you, 
um, they may, like, their aura might have, like, leaks and tears where negative energy might seep through, so to speak. Okay, that's kind of like the visual, but essentially what it is is it's like, say you've done all of this healing, like, your whole entire life, and or for many lifetimes, you know, take what resonates, um... But you've done all this healing, so you have this, this bright light. Right now there is a, essentially, a polarity war of where we're rising into a higher frequency of being with the age of Aquarius. We're rising into an, a higher frequency of being. And a lot of people or energy, they don't feel comfortable with that shift. And so they are either knowingly or unknowingly trying to prevent people from creating that shift. Now, it's, it's going to happen. Like, it's already in motion. So there's nothing that they can do about it, but they can just make the process more frustrating. So you just, and, and delay that process as well. And obviously, like, you want, you, you don't want that process to be delayed. You want to, um, you know, start this, yeah, as soon as possible without interruption. You know what I mean? Like, get get it done. Like, that's what I mean. Um, so, okay, yeah. So with the Two of Swords and the Page of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, because we've got this the scales here. Um, it could also be Libra energy. Take what resonates. I think the Two of Swords could also be a Gemini energy. You know, whatever. It, it, it's whatever. But, like, um, yeah, okay. So just be very careful of that. Because you're born to be a healer for many. Somebody might be jealous of that too. On a soul level, they, they might not realize it. They might, they might be insecure. They might actually admire it and just be insecure about themselves. So it, it, it is, then becomes a low vibrational, a, a low frequency emotion, which um, is actually envy. So, okay, let's keep um, pulling these playing some cards, so watch out for that. like my throat hurts again just when I kind of started this reading and um so I feel like whoever this is they won't let you speak your truth or they won't let you be your truth is what I heard so it's basically like somebody who just has you in their life to fit a false narrative that is their ego, that is in alignment with their ego, okay? So it's, it's whoever it is, it's a narcissist. And for those of you guys who don't know what, like, uh, coming into Christ conscious consciousness is, is basically when all of the, um, it's like a kundalini awakening. It's basically when all of the chakras are, like, heal, like, you, you're, um, in short, it's like when all of your chakras are in alignment and you are, it's like... You've healed your pain body. All of your chakras are in alignment, and you your crown chakra is open. Okay, so that's like why you know Jesus and all the angels have like the halos and stuff like that because that's that's their crown chakra that's open. Okay, um, you know they didn't actually like walk around like looking like that, but they just they had that. That's how it's depicted in art is that that's their crown chakra that is open. Okay, so like that's what you're getting ready to do. Moving into. Okay, what else, Spirit? 
and we we do this all the time to you guys like we um like there's different degrees of this type of an awakening that happens okay so but with the age of Aquarius right now like this is a big one so um and it affects the frequency of the entire planet also so it's important that we are allowing ourselves to heal and opening ourselves up in that way and um not opening our but opening ourselves up taking our time away from you know creating space away from um people to allow ourselves to do that because if it in by proximity it will actually affect their frequency as well especially if they are related to us okay um what about spirit anything else Yeah, we've got the star in the reverse position. Um, somebody who's very self-involved also. Um, we've got the justice card in the reverse position. So they are, they're, um, yeah, they're trying to create an imbalance. It's um, a spiritual warfare. Um, mm-hmm. Knight of Swords, yeah, they're they're coming in. They're they're coming in. I really feel like this is somebody's parent. Yeah. And I don't think that they're like. I don't feel like it's a dark empath so much, that it is just somebody who is related to you, and so they can sense that, and so. Um, like, because you have the same DNA, so you, you know, like, people who are family usually can sense these types of things. Um, there is a hawk in the tree of the Knight of Swords, and Spirit says, focus. Focus. It's okay to take space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Page of Wands, you have a lot of um, good ideas. Um, like downloads, basically. You have a lot of downloads that you receive. And, um, you know, sometimes when we're receiving downloads, if those downloads are interrupted and or, like, focused towards something else, um, the downloads don't download in their entirety, okay? I hope that that makes sense. Um, so it's important to, and they don't ground completely into ourselves. So it's important to take space and time to be able to do that, you know? And if somebody needs help or whatever later, like you can do that later. Because once you are like connected, you're connected. And you can access that, you know, that information. Um, I mean, just like that. Yeah, Seven of Cups. So they just want things. Um, you may have also been fighting and they might like want to come in and say that they don't want to fight. Because I, there's a dove on this particular Seven of Cups card and one of the cups and I keep looking at that. But I also hear like don't trust it. But like be cordial. You can be cordial. You can be nice. I mean you can do whatever you want. You know what I mean? But just be cordial. Be nice. Keep your cards close to your chest. You don't have to tell anybody what you're doing. You know, um, you don't owe anybody an explanation. I mean, you know, we're adults. You know, respect. You know, you don't you don't have to say that either. You know, um, but respect privacy. That's important. Um, you know, because if if this is a narcissist, they're not gonna like that. They won't like that. So you want to be as um, polite and, you know, um, discreet as possible. What else, Spirit? You're going to be, like, connected, though, after this, after this journey. 
you're getting a lot of downloads and it's really important that you are taking time to integrate those. Um, do really meditative, creative things. Um, like painting is kind of mindless. I would say writing is good too, but sometimes when we write down words, it takes away, f it, it's not so meditative because there are like words that we're reading you know what I mean so like when I meditate and I want to meditate in a creative way like I will paint uh, landscapes or gardens you flowers things like that pretty things because it's not like I'm I'm not I'm not actually thinking but I am like releasing and um Epsom salt baths are also very good and drink lots of water lots of water and make sure my battery is okay. I feel like uh, sometimes. Um, okay, what else? Spirit. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position. Yeah, this person just wants to keep you in a cycle. They just want to keep you in a cycle. And the sad thing about it is that as long as they're keeping you in a cycle, they're keeping themselves in a cycle. So if you break free from the cycle, do your healing, come back, that will raise their frequency, and you both will be out of the cycle. So the Wheel of Fortune was in the reverse position, but I'm going to put it in the upright position because I know that you are going to take the time to integrate your downloads, ground them into yourself, heal yourself, and do all of the things, and you know, take the space that you need because that's going to benefit you and your family. Hmm. I just heard that this could be a love, ex-love too. Um, that's just what I heard. So take what resonates. Okay. Uh, seven of Swords in the reverse position. Yeah. You you will have success. They're they're they're, yeah. It's gonna be okay. Is what I just heard. That's why it's so important to be self-aware, grounded, and self-accountable. Um, grounded to know who you are. Self-aware to know what you're doing and if what you're doing is who you are. And self-accountable so that if you're not doing something that embodies who you are, then you can make the necessary changes to level up, so to speak. What else, Spirit? You know, it's sad because I, a lot of people don't know this stuff you know what I mean like this I wish that this information was like like not so esoteric like I think that word esoteric means like secret or you know what I mean but like um and then we've you know with consumerism our consumerism culture and capitalism it just creates a competitive nature where you know you know all of it I'm sure um So instead of being self-aware or, you know what I mean, then somebody who, you know, you may inspire somebody that turns into envy because, you know, we're supposed to be competitive with each other because that's the way that we're conditioned, you know, from birth in this society. Um, so, but it is important. I feel like I need to use another deck. I almost, I just saw the four of pentacles in the reverse position. It is important for you to keep your heart open though because in order to have this type of an awakening your heart has to be open because your heart is the gateway to the the higher chakras okay so like if this person comes in 
at this time. Don't judge. Don't, you know what I mean? Just, and, and, and be as succinct is the word that just came to my head, but like be as, well, yeah, succinct and discreet really as possible so that there aren't any triggers, you know, so that you can keep your heart open for this, um, this glow up. What else, Spirit? The chariot in the reverse position. Hmm. Yeah, they, okay, what else? I would, I'd like to clarify the chariot in the reverse position, please. I just feel like that's just clarifying more that th who this person is um, trying to, maybe knowingly, unknowingly, you know, trying to make it difficult for you to be able to move forward. Because a higher vibration makes them feel uncomfortable. Um... They're just, they're just not used to it, and if they can't take accountability for themselves, um, I mean, four swords. I'd like to clarify a little bit further, please. It was kind of upright. And it wasn't. Um, It's definitely like somebody, she's like picking up her sword, okay? It's like behind her back, sort of. Oh, maybe it's not behind her back. But like she's definitely like, she's picked up a sword. She hasn't done anything with it yet, though. Hmm. You know, this is just like my personal opinion, but if this resonates, because energy is always shifting and we, we like, this doesn't necessarily have to, she doesn't necessarily have to come in, whoever this is, um, you know, and um, sometimes like, no, I'm not gonna, this might not be very good advice. Um, so take what resonates, use discernment, you know better than I do because it's your journey, not mine. But you you could diffuse the situation just by checking in. And it depends on who it is. You know what I mean? Like if it's an ex, like don't, you know? And um hmm. Okay, I'm getting back to it. Alright, I'll just, you know, use discernment. Um you can just um check in. We've got the Ace of Pentacles now in the upright position on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I feel like this is, like, sometimes, like, I'll pull this card and, like, Spirit will say, like, it's on the money. So I feel like this might actually be a good idea, all right? Um, you can actually, like, check in with whoever this is and kind of diffuse the situation before you feel yourself going into this, like, healing type of space. Or, like, before you need to take space, diffuse the situation by, you know, just um, doing little, like, tap-ins. I think, if that makes any sense. But, like, just a little text. You know, um... Busy week this week. Hope you're doing great. You know, hugs and kisses, or I don't know what else you say. Or, you know what I mean? Or you can just say, like, um, just busy week this week. Was just thinking about you for a minute. Hope you're really great. Um, maybe we can catch up in a few weeks. Or maybe we can catch up next month. Or maybe we can catch up, you know, whatever day or something. You know what I mean? Because then you have control. And it's, it really, I think, kind of helps diffuse the situation. And as I'm speaking about energy um, and how it's always shifting... I, we've got the Ace of Pentacles here in the reverse position, and it almost, <laughs> Spirit is telling me that, um, and I just coughed. So I think that somebody doesn't feel comfortable doing this because their throat chakra is out of whack. And I've said this before, Lapis Lazuli is very good with that. And, um, yeah, so really good for that. I have that in my shop, too. I'll, I'll, of course, leave the link in the description box below. Um, but... Um, I feel like the reason, whoever this is for, what this message resonates for, let me know, um, 
usually the reason why this person was not able, you're not able to speak your truth, so to speak, is because it's this person always is the one that's in control. That kind of like creeps up on you. You know what I mean? So like maybe if you kind of like take the, I just looked at the chariot. Um, you know, if you take the reins, okay, like in the chariot card, we've got two horses. Spirit just told me to um, look at that. Take the reins, um, then it, it the dynamic will shift. It will be different. Like, you'll be in control. Um, and that might even help you open up your throat chakra as well. Of course, use discernment in the future and understand and know that, you know, this person, um, you, you do want to be, like, really... Um, civil is the word that came to my head. I can't remember the words that I used earlier. But you, you want to be as polite as possible just because whoever this is I feel like they know how to trigger you and you don't want that to happen okay because that just puts us in a spiral of you know that's no fun okay um it's a waste of time how about that I think is what I'm trying to say um yeah I feel like that is the end of the reading, you guys. I really hope that this helps. And if it resonates, let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you like the video, please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And um, keep healing. And I love you guys so much. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm back. Okay, so Spirit, really quick, literally just showed me energy is very weird. DNA is very weird um, because it's always shifting and changing. And as we combine energy with other people, other people's families, DNA it can almost become our own, especially if we have children with them. So this is an important message for somebody. Let me know if it resonates, please. But um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a blood parent either. It could be um, spirit is showing me like a woman and a man um, having sex and combining that energy and one of their parents sensing this glow up. So take what resonates and um, let me know in the comments if it does. Um, Alright, love you guys. Keep healing. <laughs> Bye.